Hello guys, Jerry Flynn here. Um, I'm going to make a short video to show how to use the new non-photorealistic render feature available when you render with view. So I open up the render dialog by clicking on this icon right here in the rendering group, the one with a little purple splotch in the front. And whenever the dialog opens up, you're going to see uh, your history images. If you click right down here, you can open and close the previous renders. So here, one where I've already rendered this view. Right. So what I want to do here is I want to create a render that has non-federalistic information. And to do that, all I need to do is check NPR prior to rendering. So if I look at my uh, light setup, um, I'll just use the active light setup for my render. I'm going to use um, from the atmosphere. So here's the different atmospheres I can choose. I'll choose uh, St. Petersburg. <clears throat> and I'm going to use exterior final. And I'm going to ray trace. And then I'm going to click the render icon. And it'll go off and render this. And I'll be back after the render completes. Okay, uh, as you can see, the render is now complete uh, on my machine, which is a very fast computer. It took three minutes and 10 seconds to ray trace uh, the scene with my building. Now, I want to look at the non photorealistic render options. So, over on the right hand side of the dialog, right here, you can expand the post render settings and we can go to NPR effects. And I think I want to try the tune effect. So if I scroll down in my list, I can see tune as an option. And if I click here, it will apply that um, NPR style on my render. You can see the processing here. And here's the current style now i can kind of customize this a bit so let's let's instead let's choose watercolor for my outline so down at the bottom of the list watercolor and it'll apply that and it's a bit more of a transparent look and i'm pretty happy with that style that looks pretty good let's kind of zoom in here so you can quickly get uh, a nice illustrated look from your rendered scene and just by enabling NPR at the time that you render so there's a lot of different styles that you can choose from so here let me I'll turn this off so it doesn't immediately begin processing so let's look at um, perspective drawing uh, in my post render options, I'm going to turn off um, the denoiser. I really don't need a denoiser because I'm ray tracing anyway. So back to my NPR effects, I'll click apply and we'll see what perspective drawing does for us. And here's perspective drawing. Again, I, I think that the thickness of my line work is a little bit heavy, so maybe I'll change this to be one instead so what you can do um, although you can't create <clears throat> you cannot create custom um, styles if you have a copy of view you certainly can you can bring those uh, styles over from view that you've customized and use those in microstation but you do have the option to pick um, the various shader. So the shader could be picked separately and the line styles can be picked separately. So you can kind of mix and, and match and, and get a unique look. And so this list is the combination. This is both the shader and the outline. So let's, let's try draft. And it's going to get a little bit more sketchy. 
So there you go. So this is the first napkin sketch uh, from the restaurant of the proposed building quickly drawn. So um, I encourage you guys to give this a spin. It's pretty easy. Try your different combinations. Find one that you like. Um, and uh, I, I definitely would encourage um, the organization that you work in to get at least a copy of you. There's going to be a lot of other cool features that you can use in addition to be able to create your custom NPR styles. Uh, you can do things with ecosystem materials, for example, and I'll show that in yet another video. Enjoy.